G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So today we're stripping African cichlids. But just before we do that, I've actually just got to show you something pretty funny. Alright, so we've got a living stony up here. Ah, they're not living stony, they're polystigma. We've got polystigma up here. Um, and you might notice there's no male in the tank. So when fish jump from that tank, they usually land in the pond which is no big deal but if you just take if we take a little stroll down this way and then we keep going a little bit further so this is now five meters away from that tank and look in here look who's chilling how the hell did he get in that basket so at first, I thought it was the Fosco male, and it, like that seemed more reasonable that it could jump like from there to there. But then it's jumped from there. So that so what's happened? I reckon it's jumped. It's landed in the pond. Um, the Sudi, Sudi Grunter, wherever he is, has chased it, and somehow it's managed to jump into that basket. Um, Someone, I saw a post either yesterday or today about someone saying they saw a fish had landed in an obscure location. I think this takes the cake. Look at him. I don't even know how he... Yeah, I don't know. I really need to put lids on that tank. I really need to put lids on all of my tanks. Um, not many have lids. This one does. This one does. That one does. That one does, and pretty much the rest don't. Oh, is it, there's a few lids on these, but yeah. Anyway, let's get to stripping. All right, so can you guys say the word distracted? Um, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed how distracted I can get. So it's currently like 7.30 at night. I haven't even started stripping. I ended up... Uh, adding a piece of mesh on that hole right there um, I put foam along the top edge of that tank kind of like that foam there not that you can see it because all my demi-comp fryer in there from the water going over because of the flow that we added yesterday and then I made up this little pack <coughs> it's basically for African males that I posted on Gumtree um, I'll try to do a couple of guaranteed mail packs for people. Uh, just try and start advertising a bit more because you guys know I'm, I'm pretty lazy when it comes to advertising. Um, I noticed, check this out, there's like a guaranteed male star sapphire in there and they're only like five to six centimeters. Um, I've got no idea what sort of money a male sapphire that small would chase. But that's definitely a male. But the rest of these aren't for sale. They're going in the colony. Um, anyway, let's start stripping. Alright, so we start the night off with a couple of Masobo. I love these girls. Um, I, what I love about them is I think I like I think the girls look better than the boys. And um, that would have to be one of the only, not only actually, but one of the not so many cichlids that the females actually look better than the boys. Here we've got a Lunacara code blue female. Only one code blue female holding tonight, which is a bit strange for them. Um, I should be happy that at least one is because after I had that issue with the food and pretty much every colony stopped breeding. But um, since I swapped to the extreme fish food, everything is breeding. I mean everything. Um, I'm going to keep this video pretty um, brief like I did last time. 
I know stripping videos is like once a fortnight, so for the OGs, this will probably get pretty repetitive, and I'm sorry about that. But it's a segment that I'm just going to keep doing because I like doing it. All right, so next up, cobalt blue female. I like, I love cobalt blues. Um, I know they're crazy aggressive, but I think they're cool. Look at her. I love fish. I, I'm not a huge fan of Mabuna as such. I do love my hats more than Mabuna, but as far as female colour goes, like not many hats can compete with the Mabuna. Alright, so we've got three Nikali holding, which is quite, quite surprising. They went from zero to hero. Um, these aren't young fish. I bought these as sub adults. And I just always had trouble breeding them. I bought two or three separate groups as um, I bought some adults and some sub adults that should have been breeding age. And I've really only been able to get like one mouthful every like month or two. Now there's three holding at once. Um, I'm a, I'm a bit, I don't want to say it's just the food, but I'm going to say it, it's the food. Um, I'm in love with it. I'm actually talking to shops, trying to get them to uh, stock it on their shelves, because at the moment, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think extreme fish food is on the shelf in WA anywhere. This loop is shit. Alright, uh, I made a fresh loop out of tie wire. Ever since using tie wire, I can't go back to bread bread ties. The bread ties suck. Um Where did all the Nikali fry go? That doesn't look right. I've already stripped two girls. There's not many fry there. Did I put one girl back without stripping her? I don't know. I'm in a rush here guys and I'm making and I'm not thinking straight. I've only got like 20 minutes left. Till the missus gets home and I'm meant to have dinner ready when she gets home. But um Shit happens, I guess. Sorry, this is a rambling video again. All right, I'll get back to your next fish, all right? All right, so next up, we have Red Empress. I'm actually thinking about get, um, giving this colony to my mate Jason at Perth Cichlids. Um, if you haven't been to his YouTube, check it out. Um, the main reason We've been like liaisoning together and really we're trying to keep fish different to each other, not the same fish. So that way we create a bit more of variety between us breeders and then we can like fry swap with each other to make packs and stuff. So yeah, I'm also thinking that about the Lawalsi that I've got as well. Um, Basically the way I look at it, help one person out, they help you out. I'm really trying to take a different outlook on my fish keeping and that is treat the way you want to be treated. Um, less politics, more fun and I'll always trade fish before I trade money. Um, I'm not in this for the money, I'm in it to have fun and variety is fun for me. Um, these actually are Jason Sinclair's um, Red Empress and um, I think I got these off him at like two centimetres. They were actually smaller. I think he gave them to me for free at like one centimetre, one centimetre and it was like one of those jokes, you know, like how I picked up the cichlid eggs the other day. It was just like he had plenty of fry and I was like, hey, how about you give me some babies and um, look where they are now, all grown up. So. 
we've got a Demosoni. I'm actually thinking about selling the Demosoni Trio um, simply because I've got I've got 30 odd Demosoni that I want to grow out in their tank and I can't I don't want to grow them out with the Trio in there because chances are not many will survive so I pretty much just want to start again but yeah these guys are actually gorgeous this is like Gen 3 of me line breeding. I'm pretty sure I've told you that guys that a hundred times. But they don't throw. The first pair that I had was throwing broken stripes. And I've noticed this generation that is growing up now that's at like three centimeters, there's no broken stripes. All right, so we've got three red top hongi. Um, once again, there's more than three holding in the tank, but we want variety over quantity at, at the moment. I'm limited for price space, so I'm trying to play it smart. It's another one that the girls look nice as well as the boys. They're amazing. You can't really see the red up against my hand. Look at that colour. For a girl, that's pretty cool. All right, so marbles. I accidentally caught the male, so I thought I'd bring him out and show you guys. This guy is gorgeous. Um, so, uh oh, hang on. Sometimes sensor lights are annoying, but they're pretty good otherwise. Um, so this guy. The camera doesn't really pick it up, but his blue sheen, oh, you can kind of see it on that angle. He's an insane looking fish. Definitely one of my favorites in the room. The thing I like about him is his, that iridescent blue. He's not the solid red like everybody seems to have around. He looks different to what most people are breeding. Nice group of eggs from her. Um, she's actually probably the nicest female in the tank. As far as female goes, she's got a fair bit of colour. Um, can you kind of see it? It's a bit hard to see in the camera. But yeah, I'm actually thinking about selling my adult marbles as well and starting again. So getting towards the end of it, I wasn't paying attention. And I forgot to film, but these guys are Benga. This one mouthful, it's a huge mouthful. Um, we actually didn't, looks like we didn't fill the tumblers tonight, guys. Um, with all the free swimmers we got. I think because I haven't stripped for so long, I left it a few weeks this time, which meant the females got a chance to um, hold a bit longer. Uh, now I've got to figure out where I'm going to put these bingo. I've actually missed a mouthful guys. I completely forgot. We've got the Joan Johnson girl over here that is, needs to be stripped. Alright, so this is my least favourite tumbler but it's the only one I've got left so we're using it. But it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eggs in there but two don't look very good so I think we'll end up with five, which isn't many, but it is a young colony, and it's the second mouthful I've got. So I've got two mouthfuls, which we'll probably end up throwing back in the colony. I always keep the first batch of fry. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up there. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, sorry if you're an OG and it seems kind of repetitive doing stripping videos but it's a main it's like literally the main thing that I do in my fish room so I like keeping you guys up to date on what what I am stripping um, if you do think it is repetitive and boring I'm happy to hear about ways you think I can make it more interesting but overall I don't have no plans on stopping doing the stripping videos um, I'll see you guys tomorrow peace out